everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I got my son for Christmas. So if you guys are ready for some really good gift ideas for a toddler, then stay tuned. Okay, first, if you have a little one near you, I'd probably turn this off and come back to it later. So I'll give you a second to do that. First, I'm going to start off with what is going to go in Ryder's stocking. So I'll start off with his little like snacks. So I always put a Hershey or a chocolate Santa in his stocking. This was a tradition of us growing up, me and my brother as well. So one of these will go in his stocking as well as mine and Connor's. And then I got him some goldfish. He had been struggling to eat these before, but now he's finally got the hang of it. So I thought some Christmas themed goldfish would be really cute. And then fruit snacks. He's become a very big fan of fruit snacks. So I got him some Christmas themed fruit snacks and I got, um, both of the goldfish and the fruit snacks from Walmart if you want to get those. And I will try to link every single thing that I have down in the description box for you guys. So you can hopefully shop it before Christmas comes. And then I of course got these adorable Mickey suckers from downtown Disney. So I had to put those in there. And that's all the little snack foods that I have for his stocking. But other than that, I got this cute little green alien. He really likes Toy Story, so I thought this is super duper cute, and I think he'll really like it. He doesn't have any, like, plush Toy Story other than a bullseye, and he doesn't have any Toy Story toys just yet, but I think I might do that for his birthday. And then I got some tubby Todd. So I got the vanilla cake smash and I thought that these would be amazing, like delicious. Let's smell it. It comes with pumps, but I left them in the box. Oh, things are okay. I can still smell it through there. It smells very good. I don't want to open the thing just yet because he won't use it for a little while. But I thought this smell would be amazing. And if you guys know, I love Tubby Todd. We use Tubby Todd for everything with Ryder. We use his body wash, the lotion, uh, diaper paste, sunscreen. They have an all over ointment and like a dream cream that are amazing for eczema. And then I got him some bubble bath. He's never had bubble bath before. So I thought this would be very fun. And this is in sweet I don't know if it's Keats or Quince I don't know and honeysuckle and then I got him some toothpaste some tubby Todd toothpaste in watermelon flavored I thought he would really like that and it is fluoride free so really really good for the young ones but if you guys want to get your own Tubby Todd, I do have a link in my description box and you can get 10% off of your own order. I highly, highly recommend Tubby Todd. They are amazing and my favorite, but that is all that is going to go in his stocking. So I'll move these and we'll get into his presents. All right, I will start over here first. So if you guys watched my what I got my baby for Christmas last year, then you would know. I got Ryder some bumpkin bibs as well last year, but I hadn't got him the buzz one yet, so I decided to do that this year. How cute is that in the back? <laughs> He's got like a little cape. He has a woody one, and it's like the back is a hat, so that one is really cute too. And then I got him some Toy Story snack bags. So it comes in these two little snack bags here and then a big one. So I thought these would be perfect for holding all of his snacks. We do use the little cups that he can put his hand in, but this would be really good to put in his diaper bag to just hold it all instead of a Ziploc bag. And they are washable. If you guys know, you got a friend in me is mine and Ryder's little thing. 
And then I got him this adorable alien plate. He's got a little bit of a Toy Story theme this year. And then it does, it's got a stick, so it does stick to tables or his high chair. And then I got him some Converse in his next size up, of course. And I got some red ones. He has white, or he had white, and now he has black and gray. But I got these in size five, I believe. Yeah, five. So some black ones, or gosh, some red ones. I think these will be super duper cute. He has a lot of like red clothes from, you know, Mickey and all that good stuff. So I'm excited to put these on him. Okay, we'll go into some of the toys. So we got him this Duplo Mickey Mouse set. I'm so excited for this. He's really started to play with his like big Lego blocks recently. So I think he'll really like this since it is Mickey, but it's just a train and has Mickey and Minnie. Very excited for that for him. And then we got him this a uh, five minute Disney stories that we love. The five minute stories. We have so many Disney ones. We have the Christmas one. We have Paw Patrol. Um, Nickelodeon, I think, even. But um, I got this one since it would be the Disney Junior because he really likes Disney Junior. And they had, I really wanted him to, wanted to get him a five minute furry friends one. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be perfect because he loves dogs, but it does not come out until I think April or March of next year. So that'll definitely be an Easter present for him, but I'm very excited for this one and to get to read to him even more. Okay, and I got him some learning toys because we're starting to work on that, whether it's crafts or with some of his puzzles or just pointing out colors, letters, things. He's been talking a lot more recently, so I got him these Elmo on-the-go letters. I'll show you the back. So it's like a little, I mean, it kind of, not a purse, but kind of like, it's like a bag, but it's a hard bag that closes, what would you, a case. It's like a case, and it's got all of the letters on them, and they can just put the letters in there. Can you see it? There you go. And I thought that would be perfect for him to start working on his letters. And then I got him this 100 words book. So it's Leapfrog, and we can start working on all of his words. There's like activities, outside, all kinds of things. It says 18 months and up, and he right now is 16 months, and he will be 17 months at the end of December. So this is going to be very good for him soon. I really think he could even use it right now, honestly. Okay, and over here, <laughs> we got him some Melissa and Doug pots and pans. And then it comes with like a spoon and a little like spatula, like wooden. He is going to love this. He is like obsessed with um, real things. You know, like he loves my cleaning supplies. So for Halloween, we got him the Melissa and Doug cleaning set and then Connor's parents got him a little um, kids Dyson vacuum so if your kid loves like cleaning <laughs> or is obsessed with your cleaning supplies get them those gifts I will have them linked below as well we he loves them he plays with those every single day but he used to before he put the locks like the little kid locks on all of our cabinets loved to take out my pots and pans and he wouldn't like take it out and bang it or anything he literally just wanted it and he wanted like a rubber whisk or something and just to play like he literally just wants to be like a little grown-up he needs to quit that but I got him this little set it's even got a little strainer how cute is that I really really think he's gonna love this and he does have 
a grill so he can kind of like play with it on there. We plan on getting him like a kitchen set when we end up having another baby, maybe, unless it takes a while. Um, or maybe next Christmas that'd be a really good idea because I don't necessarily think he is old enough for it just yet to like play with it a lot, but this will be great for whenever we do get that. And this is our second to last toy for him. I am so excited for this. It is Toy Story 4, of course, but these little Toy Story figures. So we have Buzz, Woody, Jesse, um, Slinky at the bottom, Rex, who else we got? And a little Forky, he'll love that. He loves Forky. We have a little people Forky and we have two plushed Forkies and he loves them. But this is three and up, but honestly, this is perfect for those little kids because like this, these toys are Toy Story toys that they can't like mess up. Like a Woody doll, Oh my gosh, they could totally like rip it, you know, Toy Story 2. <laughs> but I just think this is perfect for, I don't know, someone his age, honestly. Like, this is perfect for him to play with. And there's no little items, so I don't really know why it's three and up. I actually saw Brooklyn Maldonado over here on YouTube. Got this for her little boy Emmett for his birthday and I was like, I have to get that for Ryder and Emmett just turned two, so I think this is perfect and if your little one is into Toy Story, definitely get this. And for the last toy, it's like his big item. We got him the, I think it's Little Tykes, but the roller coaster. I didn't wanna bring it in because it's huge, but I will insert a picture of it for you guys. I am so excited for this. He's going to love it. He's a little daredevil, just like his mama. He loves to be thrown up in the air or dropped and caught. I think he's going to love roller coasters when he's older and rides, but I'm so excited for this. He's going to love it, and I can't wait to put it together and let put him on it. It's going to be so much fun. I am going to be doing a Christmas Day vlog. It'll go up the Monday right after Christmas. So we will definitely put him on it and show it to you guys because I think he will love it. And then finally for what we got right for Christmas, I, so his bathroom. I'm revealing his bathroom theme to you guys finally. But we, we're going to do Mickey Mouse themed, but then I decided to change it up because his bedroom is Mickey Mouse themed. And I saw Pottery Barn had a ton of like Disney bathroom themed things. Now it does get expensive, but if you get it on sale, I got this not Black Friday. I got it a long time before Black Friday, but I got it on a really, really good sale. So I did not spend that much. But we, I decided to get shower curtain, some towels to like put up in there and kind of be decor, and a little bath rug. Now, some people may not agree with me not getting him toys, but he's got a lot of toys here. He's going to get a lot of toys from his grandparents, his great-grandparents, everybody. So I think this is a perfect way to not only get something that like he needs for his bathroom. I guess it's not necessarily a need. You don't need to decorate the bathroom, but he loves the theme that I picked. He loves the movie. So I think he's really going to enjoy it. So we are doing a Finding Nemo or Finding Dory themed bathroom. I think Finding Nemo. I don't know, it might be Finding Dory because I guess I could put some of the Dory characters in there too. But I got him this towel. Now it's of course a big towel so he can use it for a very long time. And it's got Dory, I assume that's Nemo. Maybe it's, Mar no that's Marlin. That's definitely Marlin. Dory and Marlin. And then it's got his name on it in that blue color like Dory which I really love. 
And this came in a set. So the shower curtain, the hand towel, the big towel, and the washcloth all came in a set together. Now they did have a set including the rug, but it included two other towels that I didn't really want. So I just went with this and it was cheaper. So the little washcloth here has Nemo on it. Doesn't have his name on that, but the hand towel has Crush and Squirt. How stinky cute. And then writer's name on it in that same color that is on the towel. I love this so much. But then whenever we end up having another baby, then I think it'd be cute to get like another set of the towels with that baby's name on it. So then it's even like more decor because there's a lot of um, I don't know if you guys remember from the empty house tour or the furnished house tour, but there's the like, it's not a hook, but the bar that you can put hand towels on and bath towels. There's like three of those in there, so that'll be perfect to add a little bit of decor. Okay, now for <laughs> the shower curtain. It's pretty big. I might have to stand up and like, I don't know how to show you. So, let's just open it up. Okay, you know what? I'm going to back you up and show it to you. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it better now. I don't know, like, how much you'll be able to see. But, oh, this is upside down. <laughs> okay. So I think it's so cute because it's like a white to blue ombre color and fold it in half maybe. So it kind of looks like the ocean. Okay, but on this side, this is so hard because I'm short. It has Nemo and Dory and Marlin and you know some cute little fish. A Adorable. I love how they look. Oh, I don't want to get lipstick on this. But I just, I don't know. I love how they look. Like, they look like the characters, but they're kind of like, I don't know. They're already animated, but they're just really cute. And then we have Squirt and Crush and the Stingray. Pearl, which, fun fact, whenever Ryder was little, he was obsessed with the little pearl because he had a Finding Nemo jumper and um, like play mat and he loved the pearl for some reason. Maybe because she was pink so it really stuck out. I love this so much and I'm so excited to do his bathroom. That's going to be a, one of my first videos of 2021 I think. I'm going to do like a bathroom decorate with me slash reveal. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet but subscribe and stay tuned for that. And the last thing we have for Ryder for Christmas is this little bath mat. And it says, just keep swimming. Of course, Dory's little quote that she lives by. I think it is so stinking cute with Dory and Marlin. And I'm so excited. You guys have no clue how excited I am for this and he really likes Finding Nemo. So I think he will really, really like that and the theme of his bathroom. He really loves taking baths. Also, if you guys didn't know, he is obsessed with baths. He gets that from his daddy. His daddy was like that whenever he was younger. So he's definitely gonna appreciate that. But that is everything for what I got a writer for Christmas. I hope this gave you guys some ideas and hopefully you guys can get these before Christmas time. If not, these would all make amazing birthday gifts, maybe some Easter ideas or even Christmas for your toddler next year. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't yet and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos to come. Vlogmas starts a week from today. I'm so excited and ready to give you guys some 12 days of Michaela Vlogmas. 
And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram if you guys haven't yet so you don't miss out on anything with my little family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody. Yeah.